Glory to God. Hello everyone. Welcome to Daily Declaration of God's Word. Glory to God. Now, in Daily Declaration of God's Word, this is when we come, we look at one or two verses of the Bible concerning particular thoughts. Glory to God. And uh, we meditate upon it and we declare the scripture over our lives. Glory to God. Now, we are meditating on or we are concentrating or we are looking at the thoughts concerning divine protection. Glory to God. So, our scripture for today is Psalm 91, verse 1. Glory to God. Psalm 91, verse 1. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalm 91, verse 1 says, It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <laughs> I love that. Oh, glory to God. He that dwelleth. So, which means, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And the secret place of the Most High, it is the safest person. But notice, it's a E that dwelleth. So, if I'm not born again, I'm not dwelling in the secret place. If I'm born again, if I don't know it and begin to confess it, know it, believe it, and begin to confess it, then I cannot experience the, uh, the abiding presence, or I cannot experience the, I mean, what it means to be in the secret place of the Most High, I cannot. Amen. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. So, which means, we that we are born again, we need to know that we are in the secret place because we are in Christ. The safest place to be is to be in Christ, to be a child of God. And being a child of God, know it, believe it, and begin to declare it. We've got to be conscious of it, that I'm in Christ. The scripture says, In Him we live and move and have our being. Glory to God. So, in him will live, which means I have to know that I am in him, is in me, glory to God, hallelujah. I'm in union with him, glory to God. So I am dwelling in the secret place. And notice what it says, say, of the most I shall abide, shall abide, which means when I am dwelling in the secret place, the consciousness of me be in God's presence, be in Christ, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which means his hands of protection are upon me. His eyes are over me. Glory to God. Under the shadow of the Almighty, which means nothing can touch me, which means no evil can befall me, which means it doesn't matter what is going on around me. I am kept safe. Glory to God. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall, look, look at that word again, shall, shall, shall. So, which means, the secret place of the Most High is a place of divine protection. It is the safest place in the universe. I thank God as believers, we're in Christ. Glory to God. We're in Christ. We're in the secret place because we're in Christ. We're in Christ. But you see, what you don't know cannot work for you. What you know, believe and begin to declare it as believer is going to work for you. And we are in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. No evil can befall us. No plague can come near our dwelling place. Why? Because we are in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. Look at Amplify. Amplify says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. This is our covenant rights. This is our covenant blessings. Glory to God. Our covenant blessings. He says, shall remain stable and feast fixed under the shadow, shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow, hallelujah, of the Almighty. Hmm. Look at it. He said, whose power no foe can withstand? The Almighty God. Whose power no foe can withstand? It doesn't matter what is going on around, armed robbers, kidnappers, you know, whatever it might be. Their weapons are physical. Hallelujah. Their weapons, they are not as mighty as our Heavenly Father's weapon. Glory to God. God's arsenals. Hallelujah. You see, we need to notice as believers that we are in His presence. We are in the secret place of the Most High. Knowing it means we believe it, we are confessing it, and we refuse to allow, not to allow fear in our lives. Fear of Maybe we're going to get kidnapped, kidnapped by armed robbers. Maybe they're going to shoot us. Maybe they're going to do this. No, we refuse. We refuse. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not only going to be cautious or, or 
use our common sense as much as, as, as much as we can? Yes, we should. But we should never walk in fear that, oh, man, maybe I'm, I'm going to be kidnapped. No, 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 no. We should walk in faith because we are in the secret place of the Most High. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You look at it again. It said, who's... Whose power no foe can withstand, which means no enemy can contend against this. No wonder the scripture says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you, atomic bomb, machine guns, whatever it might be, the powers that the enemy has against us. He said, they cannot withstand the power of our Heavenly Father God. Glory to God. All right, let's declare this. Say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I remain fixed and stable under the shadow of my heavenly Father. Glory to God. Because I am in him, no evil shall befall me. The power of the enemy cannot overcome me. I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See you next time. Be blessed in Jesus' name.